Positive Outcomes Charter School is for kids who have not been able to succeed in traditional school settings. A student usually comes in here uh, two to three grade levels below where they should be at that point. That makes for an immediate challenge for Principal Stephen Norman and the teachers here, especially in an era of ever-increasing school accountability. We have an uphill battle, but it's one that our staff has taken on. This is the population that we've, uh, we've decided to work with, and, and this is what we do. In 2010, the school was, not surprisingly, named among the first partnership zone schools in the state under Race to the Top. After that identification, our parents were very upset. School director school Ed Emmett says yeah. once that initial anger wore off, parents, teachers, students, and staff dug in to make the improvements required by the state. We really took bold steps forward in changing kind of the program that we had. So we kind of redid every single part of our program. Um, we then spent significant time, our teachers have had over 170, 180 hours of professional development this summer. In addition to that training, the school is completely revamping its curriculum, upgrading facilities, and implementing a new emphasis on getting students out of the classroom and into internships and community service projects. Where they actually go out into the workforce and work alongside those, those uh, jobs and, and learn all about those jobs so that they can bring that back into the classroom uh, and learn what their passion is. And that passion then translates into the classroom. The beauty of their plan is that they took a holistic approach to creating a plan that delved with every aspect of what could make a good citizen, not just a good student. But Noreen Lasorsa is the state's so chief school turnaround program. officer. She says after helping the school develop its reform plan, her office is now watching to see how it works. Already, positive outcome is getting attention across the state and across the nation, and other communities are requesting to come and see them already. Ideally, the school will improve enough to exit the partnership zone by the end of the next school year. But for school leaders, success doesn't just mean improved test scores. Our goal is to really help students to become tremendous later in life and that they have good families, good jobs, and great careers, and they contribute to their community. That really cannot be measured by success on a 10th grade test or any type of standardized test. It's a small school. We get to know each one of these kids, and uh, we live with those kids. And sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's great, uh, but we, we are invested in each and every one of those children that come through our doors.